welcome back to this side of 40 this is your girl Lou, and this will be a get ready with me um so uh, basically i've been mia because i've been working um christmas is next friday um and not um i'm using the take me back to brazil palette uh today this is gonna be a spoiler but this is the palette i've been using for the winnie the pan project pan this is the last day of today is the fin finale for that project pan so that's the reason why i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what i've been doing um so basically um i've been working a lot and between me working a lot and other things in life happening i just really haven't had time to come on camera i do have a lot of updates that i need to put up so today i think i get off at six if i get off at six today i'll be able to do some of my videos and then others i will have to wait on one of the girls i work with thought this was red but it's actually a pink um so I hit pan in a lot of this. Basically, um, the reason why I've been missing is because the holiday season is usually really busy at a salon. So I got to have my focus for that just to kind of keep myself going. Plus, um, I'll be honest, like I'm, I love cold weather. However, cold weather does not like uh, my arm. I have a metal rod and two pins in left, my left arm. So when it gets cold outside, my arm goes to aching. That's the reason why I don't mind the hundred and something weather here. Because even then, it doesn't hurt as bad as it does when it's cooler out. So that's basically what I have been doing. I'm sorry I keep looking down. It's just because I'm trying to have my mirror down here so that I'm not holding it up in the way. So you guys can see what I'm doing. And this is like an angled brush. It's just made it so I can get my makeup on a little bit faster. So, how is everyone's Thanksgiving? Are you ready for Christmas? I'm ready for both. Um, our Thanksgiving was a little different this year. We basically did like a drive through style Thanksgiving. So basically, I made gumbo and our family came and picked it up and nobody had to come inside. And that's basically how we did Thanksgiving. Christmas, we're planning on doing like the white elephant um our circle that we hang out with is very small i mean it's just like our children and our parents and really not our parents like that like i go to my mom's house and do her and my grandmother's hair now i'm gonna go in with this it's a periwinkle e purplish blue right here um and i have been going over there and doing my mom's hair. However, I have not um, been over there without a mask on and washing my hands just so that way I'm not getting anyone potentially sick. I'm not sick, but I just, cause I've been working my mom and my grandmother do not work anymore. They're both retired. So I just try to be mindful of them because they have they could, I could contract trace if they got sick back to me. You know what I mean? Like it basically that's like the extent of who they're seeing right now. So it makes it nice. Then the other thing that's been going on is I've been working a lot. However, here in Arizona, 
I, everybody knows what's going on in the news. And we haven't ever really had a true shutdown. Like when things shut down here, all you had to do is sell toilet paper or paper towels or um, household goods and you could stay open. So that's basically what a lot of businesses did in order to stay open during that time. Like there was like little clothing stores that stayed open. And so it's just funny to me. Then, so there goes those Adderdays. Let me do this one a little bit better. Oh, just hit pan on another shirt. <sighs> then I've still been using my Kaja. That's my um trio for my tanning solitaire project pan um i'll be honest with you guys i'm not gonna share that with y'all because that project pan is not finished uh we're close to finale uh week after next it will be at the finale and hopefully if i just keep up my progress i may have um might be done Do you guys ever feel like, like when you get ready to come and do stuff, you put everything out? And not so not much doing what you thought you were going to do. And this is a shade I'm working with. It's like the top shade in the Toasted Caramel um, palette. And my good, good friend, Nona, is the one who told me to spray down my color. So my shimmers, that mirror is way too small. I know a lot of people do like a partial cut crease differently. Like they'll take a white base or a different base and put it right there. However, with this method and wetting, wetting down your shimmers, you don't have to do all of that. You could just base your lids. And then once you get through your um, shades, it will... work just the same so there's the eye look I'm just gonna take a wet one 
clean up underneath my eyes. I'll just clean up the details. This is the e.l.f. liquid liner. Every time I do this eyeshadow look, I think of Gem in the Holographs. If you're old enough, you'll know what I'm talking about. Time I do this look that is what I think of. So it's right, girl. It's true, your rage is true, 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 true. Oh, I need it. So it's right. And basically, this is all I've been doing. I do my eyes, I pop on some lashes, and because we're in the pandemic, I even stopped wearing foundation just because I was breaking out through here and down in here. So I haven't been wearing foundation. I'll wear a little bit of concealer sometimes, but for the most part, nothing. I just let my natural skin be enough. Um, and if I'm going to wear um, concealer, what I do is I just take my black radiance. And this is my Milani Concealer in 170. Um, warm. Honey, I can't read that. It's 170 though. Warm Almond. I'm glad Black Radiant uh, Milani puts the name of their shades in two different places on their packaging. And I just spray down my sponge. And yes, all my utensils are dirty. Do not judge me. I know that that's partially the reason why my foundation, my face was breaking out. But it's just I haven't had time to clean my brushes in a minute. And I will be doing so in the next week or two. how that cleaned up from underneath my eye just makes me look a little bit more woke and I just take the remnants and tap that in the center of my forehead
that way it looks like I contoured when I didn't. Then I have been using the Milani Face um, Loose Setting Powder in the number two. This is their Translucent Medium Deep. So yeah, it looks like I contoured and everything. Yeah, that's it. That's all I've been doing. Um, I'm going to pop on a pair of lashes. I still use my highlight. I've been double tasking my Kaja. Just because it had got to the end and I don't want to... To be so close and not finish this project down for me would be the pits. on some lashes. These are some of my eBay lashes. What I noticed about some of the lashes from eBay is they come and they're pretty stiff. So what I've been doing is spreading them out and trimming them. Please detail your lashes. I, I know there was a time I didn't. I'm still using bonding glue. It does not mess with my eyes or me. I have allergies to just about everything. And this is the one thing that has not bothered me in any way, shape, or form. These are tweezers that you use for map for uh, stamp collecting.
because of my eye shape, I always curl my lashes once I get them on. I built my eyelash curlers. Without with the lash, without the lash. I know it makes my eye look bigger, but this to me it looks a little bit more sultry, a little bit sexy. That's my daughter blowing her nose. If anybody wanted to know, we have allergies, so every morning around this camp we are blowing noses, and we blow really hard because we want everything out. I know I'm being better at coming to you guys in the new year with me working. I can honestly say that part of my problem is once um, the busy seasons come at my job, I kind of pull back from YouTube for a minute just to get my work done and to focus on the things I need to focus on to help my team. Eyelash curler again. That's basically all the face I've been doing. If I want to kind of liven it up a little bit, I will put on a little bit of a gloss. Lately, it's just been this clear um, Costa Sense gloss. the look um i'll be back with another video on the wig i'm wearing today i'll see you guys next time on this side of 40 um enjoy yourselves let life happen